Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing and many salutations unto your elect across the four winds of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. And the names that you just heard me call on are the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And those are the true names of who the world ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ. Their real names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And those are the names that were given unto our forefathers. And those are the same names that our forefathers were calling on. And as we believe, those are the names. And we've been revealed that those names have been revealed to us through faith. And the prophecy states that they would be called on. Especially here within these last days. And... What I want to talk about is something I was thinking about earlier and just going into how the so-called white man, Esau Edom, according to the scriptures, is really being aired out. Even when you go into the chief house of Esau Edom, who is Amalek, who are the so-called Jews, or we call them the small hats, and they're being aired out. All you got to do is look at social media, look at all these major platforms, and you see an accusation that they're putting up against us being the true Israelites so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it's beautiful to see him being exposed for the true devil that he is. And we've obviously been out here teaching this for years, starting with our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. But now it's coming to the point where you even have certain influential individuals, case in point, people like Kanye West, people like Kendrick Lamar, people like Kyrie Irving, who have mass followings, by the way, and they're saying these different things and the Lord is using those individuals to put this energy out that way believers will come into the fold and they'll actually be able to listen to the truth from the teachers the Lord is just using these different entertainers as such as voices just to put it out there but at the end of the day the Heavenly Father's word is not going void as you read it in the book of Isaiah the 44th chapter and I'm gonna actually start around the top verse this is a prophecy that stated that states in the last days there will be individuals that were going to come out acknowledging the heavenly father and acknowledging their true heritage and the true our heritage is us being hebrew israelites and that's a prophecy that's written up within the holy bible and you can read this here in the book of isaiah the 44th chapter and i'm going to start at the top and it says, Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord, that made thee, and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jezreel, whom I have chosen. And when you hear, when you read, I'd rather say the scriptures, and you read words like Jacob and Jezreel, these are different synonyms for Israel. Our forefather Jacob who is the son of Isaac and the grandson of, of the grandson of Abraham got his name changed to Israel after he had fought that angel. So when you read the Bible and you read names like Jacob and Jeshurun and such, these are aliases or code names for Israel. And as you read here within this verse, he's going into the fact that he is going to help us in a time that's needed. And as I stated earlier, there is a large accusation, a large finger that's getting pointed at us. Every word that's listed, I mean, you can't say anything about these people that are actually calling themselves the Jews. I'm talking about the people that have those small hats. You got to be mindful just because it's a YouTube platform, but those that are listening know what I mean. And again, it's coming to the point where there's going to be a large insurrection and a large accusation that's getting ready to be made against us. And you even see that coming into fruition right now where everything they're considering is hate speech when you actually come out of the true, out of the Bible, when you actually go into true history of the Israelites, when you actually consider yourself being an Israelite, these people are calling that anti-Semitic rant. They're saying it's hate speech, anti-Semitic, when all we're doing is telling you who we truly are. But it just goes to show you that this devil is the devil. Esau is the devil, and he's doing exactly what a devil would do, and that's to deceive. And that's exactly what he's doing. What he's doing. And it's getting to the point where it's becoming very tacky very tacky i mean you got to sit back and think about it if what we're saying isn't true then why is he taking so much offense to it 
Why is he blacklisting our everything? Why is he putting a gag order against everything that you say against these people? And there's a phrase, I forgot exactly how it goes, but they say pretty much, for those that you speak against, if they have the power to monitor it, again, I, I, probably, I butchered the heck out of it, but it goes to show you who actually has the power, those that you can't speak against. And it's written within the prophecies that Esau was going to rule in the last days before our Lord Yahweh comes and vindicates us. And in the time of this devil's rulership, as I'm going into this precept here, the Israelites were going to wake up and acknowledge their God and understand their true heritage because we've been discontinued from our heritage for so long. But as the Lord has returned unto us and these books of understanding have been revealed and opened up unto us, you have this floodgate of truth that's coming out. And again, it's even celebrities that are saying this, not that they're the teachers or anything, not that the Lord is using them to teach the word, but he's using them as being these figures just to put this little snippet of information out. That way those that hear it can actually run and delve deep into this understanding. And that's where we come into play. As it's written up in 1 Corinthians 4, I have raised up the apostles last. All right. So I'm going to continue this in Isaiah 44 and 2. And it reads, thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb. Which will help thee, fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jester, on whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. And what is this water like unto? According to the scriptures, this water is like unto doctrine and understanding. You can read it in the book of Exodus, the 33rd chapter, where Moses even says, was well, really the Lord speaking, all right? But he's going into the fact that he was going to, his doctrine was going to drop like the rain all right matter of fact let's actually pull that up really quick and then i can jump back to that precept and it's not in deuteronomy 33 forgive me it's in deuteronomy chapter 32 so this is deuteronomy 32 and 1 and it reads give ear O ye heavens and i will speak and hear O earth the words of my mouth my doctrine shall drop as the rain my speech shall distill as the dew as the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass because i will publish the name of the lord and ascribe ye greatness unto our god and that's what's being done with this understanding being brought out here within these last days that's exactly what's taking place and you can also read it in the apocrypha where it goes into how he's going to water his best garden and he's using the water again as an illustration to doctrine and prophecy and us being likened unto that unto that best garden just as he's likened us to be in um likened unto being the herbs there's plenty there's tons of allegories and such that liken us to being trees and herbs and such and just as a tree and a herb needs water in order to grow he's likening that to being us growing from this knowledge from this doctrine actually coming down and he's likening it to being fallen like the rain which when it rains it covers the whole region that's meant to rain at so there's no stopping this prophecy there is no stopping it it's only so much anti-semitism talk that you can actually do but the lord's word is standing and these prophecies are speaking here in these last days as a prophecy said would happen so i'm going to jump back to isaiah 44 it says for i will pour water upon him that is thirsty and again that water is this understanding the truth and floods upon the dry ground i will pour my spirit upon thy seed all right and again this is the spirit of truth these prophecies this understanding these oracles that's all descended down from the father of lights and it says i will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring so it was going to come to the point where the true Israelites were going to receive the true understanding and they were going to fall away from the lies and such that's been taught to us from our oppressors. When you look at Christianity and all these different religions that are out here, all these are different doctrines and such that have been handed down to us from our oppressors. But again, it's coming to that point where the Lord's prophecies, his word is coming to pass and his spirit has awakened us. And we've been given understanding of the oracles and the prophecies and such, and we've been given the ability to teach it. So let's continue here. 
verse 4 says, And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the watercourse. And who is they that are springing up like the grass? That's talking about us, the Israelites. It says, One of them shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe unto himself with the hand of the Lord, with the hand of the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. So right here, when you read it in the book of Isaiah, the 44th chapter, it's clearly telling you that here within these last days, this generation, they were going to call themselves Israelites again. And that's exactly what's taking place. And that's why the oppressor is upset and mad right now. The simple fact that this truth is coming out. And since this truth is coming out, he knows that his kingdom is, is getting ready to fall here soon. Another precept that comes to mind is the book of Isaiah, the 25th chapter. And I'm going to just read it and jump straight to the point here in verse uh, 7. And it says, Behold, therefore I will stretch out mine hand upon thee. Hold on, actually. Oh, I'm in Ezekiel on accident. Forgive me. This is in a transit, by the way. Which Ezekiel is a, a good chapter 2. Going into how Edom is going to be taken over and plucked out by the hand of Israel. And this, this is all done through the Spirit of the Lord. But this is the book of Isaiah, the 25th chapter. And I'm going to read the seventh verse. And it says, And he will destroy this mountain, the face of the covering cast, and the veil that is spread over the nations. And that's what's taking place. The covering cast is a veil. And a veil is used to conceal something. And again, as this devil has been in power, he's concealed truth. As you read it in Job chapter 9, verse 24, it says, The earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not where, then who is he? So you can read that in Job. And there's also other scriptures that actually point out of who the devil actually is and how his influence on the planet earth has hid truth. But as you read it here, it says he would destroy the face of the covering cast. He's going to reveal or lift that veil or lift those lies that's been perpetuated on the earth. And even our Lord Yahweh Shah said it best when he read it in the book of Luke, the eighth chapter, he talks about how things done in dark shall be put to light eventually. And it's coming to that point here where all the lies, all the deceit, all the slander, all these things are being brought back to light. Just as the scriptures say it would take place. It's only so many lies that you can tell without the truth being revealed. And we're in a time right now where the floodgates of truth, as I stated earlier, are revealing. This doctrine shining, the devil's being aired out for who he truly is. And again, as I stated earlier, it's only so much anti-Semitism talk that you can give. It's starting to get to the point where it's become very tacky. You're running like a dog with, with its tail between his legs. Looking real guilty. No, not even an elephant in the room no more. Big ass elephant in the room with a damn lampshade over his head, standing behind the pole, acting like, can't nobody see your fat ass. Exactly what's taking place. All right. This is Luke chapter 8, verse 17. And it reads, For nothing in secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. So all these secret counsels, these secret lies, all the deceit, this covering cast or this veil that I just went into, it's only so long that that veil will cover it. Eventually, the veil is going to get lifted as the scriptures goes into Esau's skirt being lifted. And all the, all the bumps, all the nastiness, the fishy smell is being revealed. And it's to the point where it's not even admired no more. So call Hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is translated all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which are the true names of the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son Yahweh for truth. And these devils are being aired out. Esau Edom is being aired out. Matter of fact, I can end it off here because really I had this precept held to be the first one that I wanted to read. But this is in the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 2. And I'm going to read this verse here in the New Living Translation. And it reads The Lord says to Edom, I will cut you down to size among the nations and you will be greatly despised. And we see it. That's why he's trying to cover his tracks now. But you got everybody out here talking about it. All right. Even after Kanye went on into that rant about the Jews and such, you had a Moabite who are the so-called Chinese. It was a Moabite dude that said what Kanye West was saying was right. And the reason why they know it 
is because the prophets are out here letting you know this. And we've been out here saying this for years. And now it's coming to the point where all these devil's chickens are coming home to roost. This truth can't be hid no more. It's went into all the corners of the earth. Just as it's written of in Matthew, the 24th chapter, when this gospel is preached in all corners of the earth, then shall the end come. That's why we're being raised up. The prophets are being raised up. The names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai being uplifted. The Israelites are being raised up. Namely, the elect out of Israel, I'd rather say, because a lot of Israelites are going to be destroyed. But this truth is being raised up. In the meantime, you got the Euphrates River that's dry, the Mississippi River that's dry, the Ohio River that's dry, signs in the sun, I'm sorry, signs in the sky, signs on the earth, wars and rumors of war. All these things are happening at the same time because our Lord is getting ready to make his grand and glorious appearance. That's been spoken of since before the foundation of the earth. So we in beautiful times right now. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai means blessings be to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.